Here's another Fluke multimeter that I just picked up. Fairly cheap on eBay. $30 free shipping. And uh, the reason I wanted to get this one is it's, I don't have any of these old uh, charcoal color ones. And this is really my favorite series of uh, fluke meters. These are the uh, 25, 27, super rugged, uh, waterproof meters. They work really well. But this one I wanted to get because it's the old 8025 series. Let me read that without glare. 8025A which is how these originally were introduced and then eventually became the uh, uh, Fluke 25 and 27. So the 8025A was the 25 and the 8025B was the 27. Um, so they started out with this 8000 series number just like these old uh, manual ranging ones. There's the 8022A and the 8026B. Even the old uh, bench meter here from the 70s, the 8000. Um, so at some point they switched over to the uh, just using the 25 and the 27 uh, numbers, and they're still using that today. You can still get a uh, 8028B, I think that's what they call it, or Series 2, which is. Um, you know, this meter just upgraded, updated to uh, modern specs, but still very rugged. So I picked this one up. Fairly cheap because it was sold as is. Uh, so, you know, when you're buying something as is on eBay, it's probably got something wrong with it. So, after putting a battery in this, uh, I think you can see it, depending on the angle here. You see that one zero on the far left as you tilt it, it uh, the bottom segment fades out. So that's a relatively easy fix. Uh, I think I had to do the same repair on this uh, old 25 when I first got it. So it looks like DC is working. All these settings are working. The uh, continuity test. Let's see. I think it's. Yeah, it's beeping, ohms. But I've noticed on uh, AC, it's already got a reading, and it shouldn't have because it's there's nothing connected here. But it's already reading something. And if we do a, uh, let's just try measuring 120 volts here. It measures 142. So. The AC side has an issue, DC side seems to be working properly. And they display segments bad. Uh, also on amps, and here's a good way to test. Uh, your fuses, see if they're good, just take the positive lead and plug it into both of the amp settings. Oh, when it's on ohms, of course. Okay, there we go. So on milliamps, you see you read a low resistance on amps. You should also read a low resistance and we're not. So either that fuse is missing or blown on the 10 amp range. So we've got a bad fuse, we've got a display that needs repairing, and something in all the AC ranges is messed up. So that's what she needs. So I guess I'll take it apart and uh, start taking a look at it. Okay, got the uh, multimeter extracted out, and yeah, that fuse is definitely bad. That 15, that's oh, a 20 amp guy. I think I've got some of those spare. Uh, that's just the, there's four screws here that you need to remove to. Uh, pull the meter off and then it's this little connector right here that you have to wiggle it back and forth and pop it off But here's the display that we need to take apart and uh, clean up to repair that uh, faded segment and Here's the meter itself with all of its uh, uh, EMI cover so we'll have to uh, Remove that to be able to see the electronics 
I'll go ahead and pull that off right now. All right, got the guts of this thing extracted. And the first thing I see is it looks like somebody may have replaced the battery snap here and just use some uh, electrical tape to insulate that. So I'll probably redo that, put some proper shrink tubing on it. Uh, just doing a quick flyover here of the meter. Notice this has some writing on it. I wonder if somebody has done some previous troubleshooting and thinks that's bad. I'm not sure what that even is, but this is the AC section here. So, and I have the schematic for this thing, so I'll go ahead and pull that out and start looking at it and try to figure out what's going on with it. The range switch looks like it's in pretty decent shape. I don't see any bent up legs. That's pretty good. And the fluke switch, fluke uh, chip reads the date code is the 44th week of 1984, which is definitely the earliest one that I have in this series, which kind of uh, goes along with this being the uh, 8025 rather than the 25 series. So, somewhere between this time, now maybe they overlapped. That 80, uh, 25 that I have is from 1985. So about the same time. I'm not sure what Fluke did with the part numbers. Maybe they had some overlap or maybe they stopped producing the 25A and went to the 25. I'm not sure. Hopefully somebody will comment back and let me know. But I do have a kind of a parts machine over here so I'll dig out the schematic and do some measurements and see if I can figure out what's uh, wrong with this guy and why it's not reading uh, AC voltages. Well, I haven't figured out yet what's going on with the AC side of this. I've tried measuring some of the components here that the manual suggested uh, could cause AC to be inaccurate but all of those seem to be good so far. So I'll keep plugging away um, all the input um, protection components are good. These resistors, these MOVs, uh, the diode bridge over here, the input resistor, that's really for the current, but so I need to really isolate on the things that affect AC. So I think things mostly in this area right here. So I'll keep plugging away. Uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd fix the display. So, uh, under here is where the uh, display is. And there's some little zebra strips that connect this board to the display and that's where the uh, bad contacts occur. So there's six screws that you need to remove to pull this out. These four right here which are threaded into metal um, things and then there's two over here that are threaded into plastic. So I'll pull those out and we'll get the board out of there and see if we can clean it up and get that one segment uh, that's fading out working properly again. Alright, got the display board out, pulled those six screws and this little thing just pops right off. That's the buttons that go to the outside. What I find really interesting too is that if you look what makes this the 25 versus the uh, 25A versus the 25B or the 25 versus the 27 is the number of buttons that it has on the outside. And on the 27, it's got this uh, relative and the min-max button where the 25 doesn't have that. But the meter itself actually has those buttons. See, they're underneath there. There's just nothing connecting them. And even in the case, there's little cutouts for those buttons. So really, a 25 is a 27. It's just uh, they just didn't put the buttons on it. For uh, reasons I'm not sure I understand. I'm sure it's something uh, having to do with marketing, but there you go. So this this should just come right off here. Okay, there's the 25. Okay, thing. We'll put that right back in, and this should come off. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I pulled the strip off, but that's okay. We'll put that all back in. 
And there is a display chip. I can't really read a date code, but there may be one there. We'll look at the video later. And here's what we really need to clean up, these contacts right here. Just with a little alcohol and a Q-tip. So let me, let me go ahead and do that. So here you go. This is generally all this, this needs. I can't really do this one-handed, but just take a little alcohol and clean it up. So let me turn this camera off and I'll finish doing that. So there we go. Got those clean, hopefully. And I cleaned up the zebra strips a little bit on this side. So we'll just sandwich this back together again and uh, see if it works better. Alright, got the display board all bolted back in. Here comes the, the test. Alright, looks like it's displaying well. And I think it was this segment right here, the bottom part of that zero that was uh, fading out, at, especially this type of an angle. And it looks like it's working just fine at pretty much all angles now. So display fading problem is fixed. So it's on to figure out what's wrong with the AC side. Alright, I am not able to figure out what's wrong with this thing. Here's the AC section, AC filter section, and it kind of feeds into the main chip right there. And uh, that's the manual says to look at if you have inaccurate uh, readings on AC. I've gone through every component in that AC converter section and in a lot of the other components and not found anything that's wrong. So, I'm thinking maybe it's in the chip itself, which I'm not going to try messing with that. So, I think I'm going to make this a parts machine right here. The main part I need out of one of these is the function switch. So, what I've done, this, here's the original 8025. It's up and running and working fine because of uh, <clears throat> kind of doing a little bit of a musical meter thing going on here. Originally the uh, electronics that came in this meter, which is about the same vintage as, uh, as this one, um, this case was cracked right there so it wasn't waterproof anymore. So I pulled those electronics out and put it over in this uh, newer uh, Fluke 27, used it for a while. But then uh, I decided, well, I'll go ahead and pull those electronics out since those are older, put them back in a meter that they should be in. So now you can see how the AC is working on this now. Here, let me just do a quick test here. Show you. And it's reading 120 volts. And the touch hold and range is all working just fine. All the functions are working. So this one's a cool old 8025 back to working again without its original board though. So I'm going to take this good range switch and where's it going? Oh, going over here. So here's a newer one and this is the uh, see the 04 date code that should go in this meter or one like that but it's got a bad range switch so I'll pop that one off put this one on That'll make this one functional again with its the correct age of board. So this one's functional with its correct age of board. And then this becomes my uh, parts uh, machine. So that's the plan. I will get everything uh, back together again. And uh, then, of course, this yeah, that, that goes back in the box. That's the busted one. So I'll still be plus one on meters, and everything will be in the proper date range, and all will be well. So I'm going to end the uh, restoration here of the old Fluke 8025A from, what's the date on this? 84? 
whatever that says, I can't read it through the viewfinder, but I think it's an 84 model. And this is probably maybe a, a 90 model uh, electronics, but it's close enough. So it's a cool old uh, gray one. I didn't have any gray ones. So uh, nice addition to the collection. So that's it on the restoration of the Fluke 8025A. Super rugged, waterproof multimeter. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.